wow. Ooh, we getting somewhere, y'all. We got a juicer. We got a juicer. We got a juicer. Okay. Welcome to the Nomi family. What's up, y'all? We're not going to waste any time. If you clicked on this video, you know why you are here. I brought a Nama juicer. Today, we're going to talk specs, why I chose this juicer, and we're going to unbox it together. So if you want to find out more about the Nama juicer, keep watching. But before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you can personalize your notifications. And please share this video. I feel like tricks. I feel like tired. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. I don't fuck with something. I need to be right. box it did not have this black tape on there however i was going to return the juicer yes you heard me i said return. i actually started recording this video some weeks ago and when i was doing the specs part just trying to figure out like explain to you all why i chose this juicer i noticed that i ordered the wrong one the j2 which is the one i wanted um, I was going to get that one because it allows bulk juicing and you didn't have to cut up your fruits and vegetables. So if you're looking for more of a hands off juicer, like you don't have to cut up your stuff um, and you want to be able to bulk juice, I would definitely say go with the J2. Otherwise, the J1 is just as good as I've heard. Um, you just have to do a little bit more prep. And also the J1, you can make sort of sorbets, whatever they call them, um, like an ice cream, basically, like an ice cream fruit out of fruit. So. That is one good thing about this because they haven't made that uh, that filter yet for the J2. Now I did try to return it, like I said earlier, and um, with Nama, you are responsible for all shipping fees when you return their package or their item. So I did take it to the post office and the shipping fee was just not worth it to me. Um, it, the cheapest was like $84 and then um, the one of the highest to get it there quicker was like a hundred plus and i just didn't feel like that was out that was worth it to me to return a juicer and spend more on shipping than i did receiving it you know um so this juicer was 300 uh and like 60 dollars because i did use a coupon code to get some of the the money knocked off so it would have been like 400 plus but it came out like 360 380 um because I use the coupon code. So to spend another 80 or $100 to, to return it and then have to put an, another $100 up because the J2 is like $100 more than the J1. So $100, $150 more than the J1. So I just didn't feel like it was worth it for me to spend nearly $250 to return a juicer and get a new one. Thought about selling this one, but I was like, you know what? I'm ready to start juicing. I'm ready to get healthy or develop a new healthier lifestyle. So I just said, let me just keep it. So that's what we did. I chose Nama all together because I kept hearing so many great things about it. So many videos I watched when I first started juicing. Like if you were serious about juicing, if you were serious about changing your lifestyle, then Nama was the way to go. My cousin has a Nama and he loves it. So I just heard so many great things about Nama and um i wanted this type of juicer because the one i have right now is a contrafugal if i'm saying that correctly um in which the pulp doesn't come out dry it comes out wet and it's like you don't get the the bang for your buck because that type of juicer doesn't slow press it fast presses and there's still juice that's left in the pulp and basically you're wasting a lot of juice so i wanted a um masticating juice juicer so that I could maximize my juice from the fruit and veggies that I was putting in. I was wasting a lot of juice and fruit and vegetables just because my juicer wasn't performing the way I needed it to. Um, I could only juice like 10 minutes at a time with my old juicer. It was a great starter juicer, but just wasn't what I was looking for. And it became very frustrating on juice days, juicing days. 
because I had to spend so much time in the kitchen and rejuice the pulp that came out that was in the trash can part of the juicer and rejuice it because I wasn't getting everything that I needed out of it. So it just became very annoying, very messy, very, um, just very frustrating. I had to keep stopping like in between to clean the juicer out because it just wasn't a great juicer, but good for starting. Let's go ahead and get started unboxing. Take off the tape that I added first. It took longer than expected. I saw something on their page about like quick, fast shipping, but I did order like right around Black Friday. No particular reason because there was no Black Friday sale, but I did order around Black Friday and that took a little bit longer to be here because I feel like a lot of people were shopping then. So that's what happened. I'm gonna flip this box on the side. Pull it out. Cause it is huge. The box is huge, y'all. Ah. All right. And if you don't believe me that I'm gonna return it, this is the return label right here. Okay. The return thingy, not label, because they wasn't getting a lot of labels. All right, so this is how it looks. Cute little box with a handle. Nice little pictures of some fruit and veggies on here, which is really cool. We already unboxed the box, so let's, let's unbox the product, okay? Let's get to it. Okay, I don't know where to start. Like, it's very intricate. Let me see. It's like a puzzle almost. I'm gonna be very gentle. Okay, I see some tape down here. Open here. I got little stickers that say open here. So, I probably should have bought something. Oh, I have some mini scissors back here. I think these will help. I'm just gonna cut that tape off. I'm super excited, y'all. Either way, I know I ordered the wrong one, but I'm still excited because it's a freaking Dama juicer. Like, excited ah. back. Oh my god oh my goodness guys it's in another box oh, they've got to be kidding me okay oh wow okay, okay. this is a good presentation right here a warm welcome from nama namawell.com okay nama Alright, and this video is not sponsored, y'all, but hopefully they'll sponsor me in the future. Oh! Now, Nama, y'all y'all owe me something for that. This big old box is knock something down. I'll be right back, y'all. Alright, now that we're back, I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side there. Okay, so I really want y'all to see what it's looking like. Um, and that's probably why I knocked that thing over the first time. Because it's like I'm trying to show y'all. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see that. Everything is labeled. Oh! Okay. Yeah, so this is very hard, but um, everything is labeled by what it is in here. It says start here. Yeah. I'm guessing this is something I have to read. Quick start guide, user manual, and recipe book. Okay, so it comes with the recipe book. I like that. Um, really cute detailed stuff, so I think it's worth the pennies that we paid. Quick start guide. I like a quick start, so let's see. Um, for quick setup instructions, activate your phone and hover over the cold, whatever, whatever. I'll read this stuff off camera and when I'm ready to set up my stuff. But yeah, this is a recipe book. Very cute, okay. Very cute. Oh my God, pictures and everything. I love it. Oh, they got the the um, sor sorbet that I was telling y'all about. Sorbet, sherbet, whatever. This is what I was talking about, talking to y'all about. They have instructions and recipes. I love it. Oh my God. I'm gonna have so much fun with this thing. Oh my goodness. This is for the guides. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love this thing. I'm gonna love it. Yep. Quick start guide. Then we got the user manual. This one doesn't look so fun. <laughs> you you would you would wish that user manuals look like this, okay? Make it happen. Anyways. All right, so I'm just gonna show. Ooh, let me beating on my thing like that. I'm gonna show y'all the different parts as I pull it out. This is the base. Let's get started with the base. Push that to the side. Oh my god, this thing is bigger than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. This is not something I feel like I can travel with. We'll see. This thing is a little intimidating. A little bit intimidating. 
because I can't just put this in a box there and just take it on the road with me because I'm a over the road girl. By the way, check out our channel, me and DJ's channel, um, Over the Road or OTR with DJ and Naja. We are working over the road and it's really fun content. Check it out. But I don't think I can take this one. This with me over the road is pretty heavy. Oh. Probably not the best way to open it, but it's too heavy for me to pull it out of there. So here is the base. It is huge and heavy, guys. Cord is wrapped up in a different box. Um, I don't know. I'm getting a little scared as I open it. It's way bigger than I expected. Um, right, get this off. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can slide this off. It's being very gentle, like it's a baby. Like I'm undressing a baby. Because I am. Alright, so this looks like the power base. You know, you got the cord where you plug it in at. This is where all the. This is the machinery. This is the headquarters of the machine. Okay. You got the on and the rev button. That's cool. Okay. All right. We got some plastic on this part. I don't know if that's supposed to come off, but it looks a little dusty. Just a tad, but I guess dust just comes with everything. All right. So we got the base open. What do we want to open next? Let's open the chamber. Set. The chamber set. All right. Okay. Chamber set. If you have an almond juicer, I'm sure you know what that is. But if you don't, like me, I have no idea what a chamber set is. I'm guessing it's where the juice goes. Yes. I love how everything says, Welcome to the Nama family. Like, it's a whole family out here. Welcome to the normal family. So cool. Look at this. It just looks high tech. Like, oh, I've seen videos, so I know this is where you like lift the gates and all the goddess juices flow out. Oh, this is the goddess uh, area right here. It's where the goddesses live. And this is where the pulp must come out, I think. So cool. Yeah, this is where they spit out the pulp and stuff. This looks so good, like, I'm just so happy. And I'm guessing this is where you put the, the fruits and whatnot. So, super excited y'all. And this goes on here, like so. Woo, we getting somewhere y'all, we gotta juice them. We gotta juice them, we gotta juice them, okay. Hope y'all can see it. Um, super excited. I don't know how I'm gonna take this on the road with me, but we'll find out. All right, next. Oh, okay. May not be hitting stuff. But... Next, let's open the container set. I don't know if y'all can see me anymore. I'm gonna scoot over to the middle. Um, put that to the side. All right, container set. Let's do it in here. Oh, okay, this is where the juice can go. You'll put. You'll let. The goddess's new home. This is the goddess's new home. Oh, there's two containers. Okay, there's this one. Nice. And then this is the other one. Not sure if there is a difference. Maybe one is for the juice, one is for the pulp. I'm assuming. Um, if my memory serves me correctly, this one will probably go here. And then this one will go the juice from all the videos that I see in this group. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm super excited about this juicer. And this is a top for the container. Um, it doesn't fit on the big one. I'm just checking. Sometimes they have tops that can fit on both. This top is for the juice, the milk, whatever you decide to make. You can put this right in the fridge. I love it. I love it. Y'all look me getting so many juicing videos from me. Stay tuned. Okay. Cleaning brush and pusher. I'm sorry to show y'all that. Cleaning brush and pusher. 
So I'm guessing, not guessing, but obviously it says cleaning brush and pusher. The pusher is to like push the fruit down in there if it gets like needs some extra push. And this I'm guessing is to clean um, the grinder slash bristles of the juicer part, the um, actual part that separates the juice and the pulp. So you can get in there and clean that. I like this, it's really good. Oh, and there's even a little pick and a mini brush. Don't know how to get it out of here, but I'm not gonna force it. I wanna wait until I can read the instructions later. But there's like a mini bristle brush at the bottom right there. It's upside down now, but there's like some two little mini bristles. Don't know what that's for exactly, but we shall find out. I thought it was gonna be like a quick little spin, but I don't wanna force it. I'll wait till I read the instructions. So yeah, that's that. Nice, nice, nice. I will be using my juicer today, guys. So, we'll get a video. All right. Oh, 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 oh. The strainer, the strainer, the strainer. Wait a minute. I didn't know there was a smoothie strainer, too. Oh, it's lit. Oh, I can make smoothies in this time, too. Acai bowls. Okay. I like this. I love it. Okay, so that's the juicer one. Oh y'all, I don't know which one this is or this one is. Let's see. This, oh, okay, so this is for the smoothie and this is for the sherbet. Oh my God. I'm excited, excited. I'm gonna give you the box. It's exciting, guys. All right, so at the bottom of the box, after I take everything out, it says, it says, we're here to help and then it gives you their support at namawell.com email address so that's really cool and with everything out of it this box is like super heavy like duty you know so it's a really good box really good material if you need it for something worth saving um i will try not to save it because i'm already a hoarder as it is well i'm not a hoarder but i'm on the brink of becoming a hoarder so Hopefully I don't save this box. But yeah guys, um that is the Nama Juicer J1. This in itself is pretty heavy as well. It's like hard for me to lift it. Okay, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um I would want this protected at all times. So if I was in trouble with it, I would want it protected more so. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to travel with this guy. But we'll see. Unless I can put it back in this box and just like bring the whole box every time. We shall see. But I'm excited to use this baby. So yes, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and unboxing this um, juicer with me. Nama J1. I will put the link in the description. Um, stay tuned for some juicing videos. If you have any recipes or anything that you would like me to try in my juicer. Whether it's a milk a specific type of juice or fruit or vegetable, a sherbet or sorbet or a smoothie. Anything that you want me to try, comment below and I will add it to my list. Until then, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you can personalize your videos, your video notifications, and please share this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate y'all so much. Follow me on all social media platforms at Naja Diane. Until next time, y'all. Bye. I feel like tricks. I feel like tired. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. I need to break them, break them, break them.